Overnight, two Memphis beauty stores became the latest in hundreds of Memphis businesses hit by the city's surge in smash and grab burglaries. They happen all the time, mm -hmm. it seems. It continues a troubling trend. In fact, such crimes have nearly doubled from just five years ago. ABC 24's Leah Williams talked with a frustrated owner of one business impacted by these smash and grabs, which uh, burglars have discovered is a fast way of making some quick cash. Leah? Richard Baha Hamed owns Beauty and Company on Winchester Road, one of the two stores broken into early this morning. Despite being out upwards of $30,000 worth of merchandise, he's encouraging other business owners to beef up security instead of leaving the city. Let's suffer in Memphis because of the crime. Memphians woke up deflated again Wednesday morning to learn of the latest overnight business burglaries. Memphis police say the first happened around 2.15 when two men rammed a car through Ulta Beauty on Poplar Avenue in East Memphis. I hate that there's crime anywhere in Memphis, but it's particularly upsetting when it's areas that we kind of count on to be safe. 15 minutes after thieves hit up Ulta Beauty about six miles away, two men smashed the window of Beauty and Company with a sledgehammer. It's unclear if the break-ins are related, but the store's owner said the thieves made off with wigs, hair extensions, and cash registers. It's the season of break-ins. We, as business owners, normally have to extremely prepared for times like this. MPD reports more than 2,100 business burglaries in 2023. That's up 35% compared to last year. Despite these surging numbers, Hamed is asking owners to take extra security measures and keep doing business in Memphis. I want to encourage other business owners that if they're going through this, don't let it stop you because we still need to be a part of the community, help you know grow and try to make sure we reduce this as much as possible. So far, no arrests have been made in either incident. We reached out to MPD for an interview on their plans to help prevent smash and grab burglaries, but we haven't heard back. Pepper, back to you.